I want you to know that these crabs have been waiting for me for an hour and it took me so long to set this up. Can you not? Do you guys know the rule to my channel? There is only one rule. When I drink, you drink. It does not have to be an alcoholic beverage. Mine will be. Here we go. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever had this like style crab legs, but basically they come in a bag and it's like soaked in there. I need to get a thumbnail, don't I? Mother If you don't click that, you're done. Y'all better click that. Oh my god, I hate when my cup gets dirty. Your best friend is lime here. So you squeeze lime all in this. And if they don't, if they give you like two limes, be like, no, I want like at least five. You need at least five limes. I'm gonna squeeze my limes. And the sauce that's in this, I got a I don't know if I said this already. I got the full house sauce, um, which is basically they have like, I think they have like a lemon, lemon something, they have garlic butter. They have a uh, Cajun style, and there's a couple other flavors. But anyway, Full House is basically all those flavors mixed together. Be generous with this lime. Like, it only makes the flavor better, I promise you. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Don't do that. Once you've squeezed the lime in, you're gonna get your salt and your pepper, and they've already mixed it in there for me. So, you put the salt and the pepper in there. Then you wrap it all up, you close it, twist this. I'm not confident in a lot of things, but I'm confident I know how to make you guys eat some delicious crab legs. All right, ready? So then you flip it over, make sure all the sauce gets in there. Flip it back over, and then you just shake it. Whole thing in there. You want all the sauces, all the juices. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'd be so jealous watching this right now. And this is a messy, like, meal. It, I mean, it is. It's, it's just messy. It just is what it is. But it is a delicious meal. I think this is probably my favorite. Okay. So then, when you open it, you want to twist it out like this. Okay. I feel like a lot of this is common sense, but honestly, when I ate this for the first time, I did not know what I was doing, so I'm literally telling you every single step. Okay, so then you need like a bucket to put like your crab legs. I don't have a bucket, so we need to use this Tupperware. So they look like this. I usually start with the smaller one first. I just like to save the best for last. Maybe that's just me. I forgot my tools, hold on. This is a Crab Hut um, picker. I don't know what these are called. The bartender gave it to me because I was like, I love crabs, I get to go all the time, but I don't have like a thingy. And he was like, oh, you can have this one. And then this one, I don't know. I, I think they, I ordered this one online. I don't know, I can't remember. Anyways, so you need one of these and this is to crack these big guys here. Guys, this is gonna get so messy. I apologize in advance. So you need this and this and you'll see why. So you start with this, you break this piece off and all I do is I just twist it back towards me, okay? And so what's great about this style of crab leg, and I put it back in there so it stays warm. Mine's cold now because it's been a while, but keep it in there so it like soaks up all the juices. This juice is a, um, it's the full house but it is also half medium. Um, which is a, I think kind of spicy like guys if you go if you go if you live in San Diego and you go to Crab Hut Their spice level is spicy. So I think the half medium I don't even remember if that is too spicy for me But anyway, so I start with this part and I go in and like you see all that meat. I just like dip it in there Tap it off I'm just gonna lightly bite it off And the part that's like the meat will actually come off. And in anything else, you can just like pick off with your hands. And I like to, listen, this is your own bag. You can double dip, triple dip, whatever. Eat the meat, mm, so good. Now, next. This little guy. I always twist away towards full. Mmm. Nice little piece, eat that. It slides right off. 
Just bite it off. Throw it in the tub. Then, you're gonna twist this part off. Okay, why not? For some reason, I can't remember how you get this little piece. I'll figure it out for the next one. All right, so then a lot of times it'll just come right out. So you just like literally snap the pieces and pull, but don't be too harsh because it, like sometimes if they're like overcooked, it'll just come out too fast. Oh gosh, so good. Oh, all done, empty. Drink. That was so good, I can already tell that it's like spicy. Okay, so now you pick this bad boy back up and go for the next piece. So, I'm gonna try to show you from my angle what it looks like. That's what it would look like if it was facing me. Okay. Now, again, same thing. Bad boy. Mmm, -hmm. so good. Look at that, perfect, Grab. So maybe this is where I went wrong. I think maybe, I think you have to twist this off first. Yeah, that's what it is. You twist that part off, pull this out so these little, I don't know what these are, but they come out, then you twist this part, and the meat should come out. There you go. God, it's been a little minute. Delicious. Oh wow, okay, so that just pulled this out right out. Sometimes I even surprise myself with my own skills. Sometimes the crabs will have like these little black things. I'm not a big fan, okay? I don't know if you can see that. I'm not a big fan, I don't know, I think maybe because I just don't know what it is, so I just like take that out. I don't know. And so now these bigger guys, when they have like this skin around them, I peel that off so that it's easier to get like the meat inside. Wow, I am such a fat, like why do I have such a like thorough method for this? I don't know, Just, can anybody relate? If you can relate, please like this video. Am I alone in this? So you see all that meat, mm. I'm so happy. Wow, there's like juice all over that. They give you this, um, paper thing. This is like a very messy meal. So they give you this like paper thing so that you can, um, I feel like I have stuff all over my face so that you can like not ruin your table. Mm. Okay. So after that, I like to just break all these little like, I don't know what these are called, like their joints. I don't know why because I feel like I just do. So now you're going to be left with this guy. Okay. You don't need this yet because these are like the flimsier ones that like you can tell that they're flimsier because you can kind of like bend them, like you can push them in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push out and away but down towards the table because if you push towards you, it's gonna like splatter in your face. So I usually do it like in my bag. So, but you're gonna do it like just enough to where it's gonna go, like you don't wanna crack the whole thing open. Like you only wanna crack half of it. So like. Light enough to where it cracks halfway, but then the goal is you're gonna turn it back over and crack it the other way, okay? So honestly, it doesn't matter which way you start. I like to start with the harder part towards me. I don't know, and you can you can test it out which side's, which one's harder and which one's softer. So I just, in the middle, put your fingers around it like this, thumbs in the middle, and then crack. It's hard when you're like far away, but. Okay, so you see how that, crack that side but not this side. Now you turn it over, crack this way. Oh, sorry. And if it doesn't <laughs> have it, if it doesn't crack like that way, then you turn it outward like this, like that. So that's what I did and it comes out just like that. And then you just slightly pull. And there you go, baby. Nice. Nice meat, all empty. Dip it in your sauce. 
Um, sometimes like some restaurants they'll give you like a side of butter, but for me, this sauce is just like, I don't even need the butter. I think I asked them for butter one time and I was like, screw the butter, this sauce is way better. Mm. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Ooh. Mm. Sorry, am I being rude? I don't mean to. I didn't mean to slurp. Okay, so now you basically just keep going with that method like the whole way. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys. So they told me that that cup, so I'm cracking, cracking the next one. They told me that cup was gonna be five drinks worth. So we'll see, that was one. Honestly, Crab Hut like never disappoints, so I'm not like, I, I bet it's gonna be five drinks worth. So sometimes it, it like gets stuck like that. If you can pull it out, you can. If not, we'll go in with the next round. So we're gonna crack this part off. Okay. Now we're gonna crack this part. Oh, you gotta be like, there's like a level of like, you gotta have that touch, you know? Look at that. Nice. Mm. So that. So this one has a little bit of meat inside. So we're gonna crack away again. Crack the other way. Comes right out. Mm. Oh, so something about like, guys, I'm gonna give you such a pro tip. If you're single, crab legs, if you know how to eat them, it's such a power move on a date, on a first date. So for me personally, I don't really go on dates unless I get, like if you're meeting people online, I don't really go on dates unless I get to know them first online. Okay, so I cracked that piece off and there was like a little meat hanging off of it. This is like this, I don't know, skeleton, whatever the hell this is, but it's not meat. You can tell because it's like hard. There was like a piece of meat to attach, attach to it, so I, I ate it. Anyway, sorry, ADD, wow, okay. So, I don't really go on dates until I'm like pretty sure that I can vibe with the person. Like I'll talk to them on the phone. I always FaceTime before I go on a date because that's just like, I don't know. I don't need a free meal. I can pay for my own meal. So it's like a waste of time for me to go on a date if I don't think that I vibe with the person. But suggesting a crab date First of all, if they don't like seafood, bye. Just kidding, unless you're allergic or something. <laughs> What's that mean? Um, <laughs> if they don't like seafood, that's fine, okay? I'm sure you can find something else to vibe with, but let me tell you why this is a power move. Because when you go on a date with someone and you know, have you ever been on a date with someone where you like don't really know like the restaurant, don't know what to order, and then don't like, if they order something weird, you're like, oh my gosh, how do I eat this? Okay. That will never happen if you suggest the date and you're like, let's have crab legs. And you know how to eat it because I'm teaching you. Now you're an expert, okay? So here's the thing with eating crab legs on a date. A lot of people are like, that's too messy, like blah, blah, blah for a first date. Like maybe that's a second date. Like, no, listen, if I've talked to you and I'm gonna have talked to you long enough before we go on a first date where I know that you may be compatible with me, let's like, Cut the, what's it called? Cut the ice? Icebreaker. <laughs> An icebreaker. Like, it's just like having a shot. Like, okay, let's like cut the BS. Let's get right into it. Can you, like the nitty gritty. Let's see how you, like, let's see how this goes. Like, let's get a little dirty. Let's get a little messy. Let's get a little drunk. It's fun and it's delicious. And if you're a woman, you're like, oh, I don't want to go like to a fast food place. This is kind of an expensive meal. Not kind of, it is an expensive meal. This meal, I got two pounds. This is one pound in here. Second pound over there. It was like $115. I also got like drinks, but you know. You know what I'm saying? It's not cheap. So anyway, look at all that meat. I think it's a great first date idea. If you've talked to them beforehand and you know that like you vibe. I wouldn't suggest it for a first date if you've like never had a conversation. That's like kind of weird. Ooh, spicy. Mm. Good spice, spicy. 
I'm so happy right now, guys. Like, honestly, I could like stay home all night. I am staying home all night. All right. Next one. Crack it. Crack it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dip it. Dip it. I always fold it in half. I don't know, my mouth is too small. On to the next one. It said movie stopped automatically. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, the reason why I stand by this whole um, go eat crabs on the first date thing is because the last two people that I um, suggested a first date crab leg thing with and we went ended up becoming my boyfriend. So either, either it's the crab leg strategy or I'm just really awesome, I don't know. I mean, you make the decision. I would say it's the crab legs. I think there's like a certain level of, if somebody knows what they're doing and they're like, they have their own strategy and they're, you're like, you're like, oh, they're like cultured or whatever, but it's like really, no, I'm just fat and I love food. But it's like they think you're like confident, you know what you're doing. And like I do know what I'm doing as far as this. There we go. Mm-hmm. I hope none of this juice is getting on the camera lens. That would really suck. Okay. So the meat got stuck here. That's where you use this. And sometimes that'll happen. It's inevitable. Um, if you don't have this tool, oh my god, please don't spray on there. You can eat you can use a fork. Um, just be aware that it may bend the fork. So you're gonna use that to crack this open. And then the meat's gonna obviously be like disheveled and like a mess, but you can still eat it. And like guys, you wanna eat it because this is not cheap. So like eat every piece. Oh, so good. There's something so rewarding about eating crab legs because it's like, when you crack it yourself, have you guys been to a restaurant where it's like, I'm like holding this over here so you guys can see it. I don't know if that's like, how people do mukbangs. I don't know, I don't do mukbangs, but this is really fun for me right now, okay? I was gonna eat this anyway, so I figured I'd film it and teach you guys something if you don't know how to do it. Oh, okay, so I don't know if you can see this in there. No, you can't see it because the ring light's this way. But the meat is right here. So I cracked it. Oh no, oh, we're good, okay. See, did you see how I was like, I was like the meat was right there and I could only, tell because with the ring light I could see through the shell so it's gonna be okay but anyway that would have been another situation where you would have had to use the uh, the thinger whatever this is called if you like crack it incorrectly you would have to like go in and crack the shell with that manually I'm actually kind of glad that happened because I would have I don't know how else I would have shown you like how to use that anyway so dip it in there mm-hmm Oh my god. Okay. And this guy, you ready? So there's the little meat. I'm gonna dip that and eat it. I really hope that you guys can see me right now. And if you can't, I'm still gonna post this. I'm so happy. Like, this makes me happy. Okay. I feel like in mukbangs, people aren't supposed to talk this much. Sorry. I'm a talker. Why do you think I have a YouTube? <laughs> Oh, that's spicy. Okay. Mmm. Refill. That means you need a refill too. All right, let's go. So here's a crab leg. So the big boy. Okay. Now you're gonna peel. You're gonna take this guy. I flip him upside down, and I take this part out. Then You're gonna try, and if it doesn't work, I will show you the alternate method. You're gonna try to crack it with this guy. And you see, so like these are like the ridges where you can grip the crab leg. Uh, and you kinda just like squeeze. <gasps> that happens. All right, so. <laughs> Now, see all the meat there? 
So now you just kind of like take out all the shell. Oh my God, how did that go that far? It's literally on the other side of like my kitchen. Okay. So, and you see all the meat here and you can just pull that bad boy out. A lot of times, I feel like this guy, unless they saw it, sometimes they crack it open like halfway for you, but like look at all that meat. Mm. But you gather that bad boy up, dip it in the sauce. Mmm. Delicious. Woo! Now, throw this bad boy out. I don't think there's it. No. Usually they give you bibs. I don't know if they were just out of bibs or what, but they didn't give me one this time. So right now we're on our own. Um, so like if this part isn't gonna crack it, as you can see, it doesn't fit. Like even if I squeeze it, it doesn't crack, then you go up one, see? And you crack. I'm like always scared to do this. I don't know why. Okay. So we got a little bit there. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. And so with these pieces, when they crack in like that, I like to tear them out before I go in again because if you go in again and you haven't taken the parts that are like sunken into the meat, then it'll like, um, like mend into the meat and then like when you eat it, it's like all like shelly, you know? So when you crack that, you'd want to try to crack it this way, which I guess is not what I did the last one. See, it's empty. So that means all the meat's in here. So this fell out, it's a shell. And what's left is right here. I love this. Do you guys have like a different method? And if you have a different method, I would like to know because I'm always open to learning. If, oh, I forgot to tell you. If you do not have one of these guys, or one of these guys. Don't worry, I got your back. If you don't have one of these, I already told you to use a fork. If you don't have one of these, what you do is you use a knife and something hard to bang on the back of the knife. And I'll show you really quick. So, let's try this bad boy. Okay. So, after you tear this part off, okay? No meat on there. If it's not already like kind of cracked by the restaurant or whatever, then you don't have this. You're gonna be like, how do I open this? What's something in my teeth? Okay, I don't. Just making sure. All right. So if you don't have this, you're gonna be like, what the hell am I doing? How do I do this? Don't worry, I got your back. You're gonna get a knife and not like a butter knife. It's gotta be like the one with like the ridges, like a kind of sharp one, right? And you're gonna place this down. I'll just show you, hold on. So you get a knife, you place this down on here. You get something kind of heavy, like maybe a I want to say a hammer, but I don't know if you'll get tetanus, so like don't like take that suggestion. But you're gonna hit it like this, okay? And do you see how that cracked that open? See? So now you just keep going. Now you got some nice, pretty meat in there. And you can just pull that bad boy out. All the meat. See? Well, I mean, I just kinda like, I, I could've done it carefully. I just, honestly, guys, meat is meat. Like, it's gonna go in your body when you're not there. It was not supposed to sound like that, but it did. And it is what it is. Okay, anyways. Dip it in the sauce, eat it. Mmm. Oh. Did that help? I hope that helped. Actually, 
I'm really happy I did that because there's been many times where I had to do this. And actually, the person who taught me, I was at a restaurant and they didn't have any more of these. Uh, Tim's River Shore, okay. I think it's in Virginia or Maryland. It's on the water. It's actually like a pretty dope place. Like, you can go there by boat, like you dock. You drive there too. Um, anyway, it was like very busy, so they didn't have any more of those guys. And I was like, dude, how do I eat these? And so the waiter was like, here, I'll show you a trick. Best trick ever. I was like, oh, so I carried that on. That was like in 2011. 16, I want to say. So yeah, when I say I literally started eating crabs four years ago, literally four years ago, and I just didn't see the hype, but now that I know what I'm doing, so much more fun. I'm gonna do this bag again. And same thing when you crack these, you wanna kinda hold this part back and crack it. You know how we cracked these guys? We cracked it in. Same concept, except we're holding this part with our hand and this part and we're cracking it in again. Does that make sense? I don't know if you can see that on camera. Hope is that screen dirty? Don't be dirty. I can't clean it right now, my hands are dirty. Okay, same kind of concept. You're gonna kind of hold that in that direction. I'm getting the screen dirty now, right? So now, here's the meat. Mm-hmm. Empty. Is that dirty? I can't see. I hope it's not dirty, guys. Guys, mukbangs are really hard. They're hard. Where'd my cherry go? Oh, it's at the bottom. I kind of want a cherry right now. I love, what are these called? The fake cherry. So good. Mm. Everyone always asks like, oh, can you try, try, tie? Can you make a knot? with a cherry stem, it's easy. All you do, it's so good. All you do, if my shirt's dirty, I apologize. Usually you have a bib. All right, I think I already said that, but anyway. What you do is you put it, oh, should I show you first that I can do it and then tell you how? Fine. A short stem. I can do it. Don't worry. Test me. Go, baby. Can you see that? All right, and I'm gonna tell you how. I do it, you do it. All you do, I don't know why people are so impressed with this, but all you do is you just bite the stem over and over and over to where it's like easily bendable. And then kind of just like in your mouth with your tongue, you tie a knot. Maybe that's the hard part, I don't know. I've always been able to do that with like no problem, but. I feel like if you just know the trick, which is to bite the stem over and over, <laughs> it splattered all over me. Then like, that's it. And you just like twist it and eat it and whatever, fix it. More baby. Mm. I'm so happy right now. Can we talk about this? Do you want to know what today is guys? This is kind of embarrassing. Today is Memorial Day. Shout out to all the veterans, love you. Um, I, no, it's not embarrassing that it's Memorial Day. It's embarrassing that I'm like at home by myself and like not celebrating. But let me tell you why. I didn't realize that during, I can't say the word 
it starts with a Q, but you know, because I'll get demonetized. But you know, since everybody's been staying home since this whole thing happened, I assume that everybody else is being like me and like drinking every day and like chilling. No, some of these people have been out here getting their bodies together, like eating healthy every day, actually, which this would have been the perfect time to do it. I don't know why I didn't do that, but they look so good. And I was like, if you think that I am going on a boat with these bitches, that have not eaten but a piece of salad every day for the past 45, 60 days, you're out of your mind. When I thought about it, nope. Not doing it, not today. And I'm really happy I did it because now we can eat together. So happy Memorial Day. All right, ready? So this one, I can tell the meat is like right here. So I'm gonna try to crack more over on this end. Sometimes the, the meat will come apart and it doesn't mean that it's necessarily overcooked. It just does that sometimes. Maybe that part is overcooked. I don't wanna say that though, because I feel like they do a pretty good job. Crab Hut does a pretty good job with their, how they cook there. Meat. There was one time I went there and actually it was like my second time and they had overcooked it and I asked them to send us another batch and it was like perfect. But other than that, and I've been there probably like at least 20, 25 times now. Wow, that's a lot of money. Crab hot, crab hot, crab hut if you want to sponsor me. I'm so down. Um, every other time has been spectacular. The customer service, amazing. Um, if anyone's from Virginia, I don't know if I said this already, but it is like a, I would compare it to a Chase and Tails. Chase and Tails has like the same bag style. Ooh, 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 I forgot to rip this part off, hold on. So sometimes when you rip it, you see it was like starting to rip it. It's cause I forgot, starting to rip it. It was starting to rip apart. It's cause I forgot to take this part out that has like those long strings. What are those? Are those tendons? I don't know what those are. Oh, Alright, well good luck to us. Nope. Nope. I hate that. I hate when I fail at crab legs. <laughs> okay. So this is another situation where you would get one of these. And crack the shell. Manually. So that's why you need those, or a fork, or a knife. Are you guys enjoying this? <laughs> Probably not, because you can't taste it, but I'm enjoying this thoroughly. So, anyway. Wow, what a mess. Guys, I know you guys are thinking I'm a big mess. Wow, you can't even see it. Oh wow, the camera like blocks like this. Okay, guys, this is all like juice all over the paper. It's like a mess anyway. More meat. I wish I could get closer to you guys. I just, it's hard because I'm like, my table is round, so it's like pushing back. Right. Sometimes I try to pull it out with my teeth. Doesn't always work, obviously. Okay. 
Also, I think like if you're kind of competitive, this is like a way to be like competitive with your date or your spouse, but not like really competitive, you know what I mean? It's like a, got a better piece of meat. Wow. Why does that sound so bad every time I say something like that? Guys, these hurricanes, whoo. You guys are from Virginia. They also have hurricanes at Peking Gourmet. I don't know if this is like a, Mmm. Please come out. Please. Oh, oh, oh. Let's rip this part out first. I feel like these will ruin it if like the piece is still in there. No, I didn't get it. Damn it, I didn't get it. This is the part I'm talking about. Okay, whatever. We'll try. Ah! Got it. Yeah, bubba. I sat in the squeaky chair. I hope, I hope that, that hasn't been like super loud the entire time. It probably was, huh? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Woo! Okay, so what I like to do with these is when they're too, like, actually maybe, no, maybe. If it's too small of a portion to crack with your hand, I like to try with this. So that I just, I feel like it's so satisfying to get like a whole piece out, so I try my best to get it out. I'm so angry, can you tell? <laughs> anyway, I try my best to get it out. When it doesn't come out, I get angry with myself. I don't know, it's just like a challenge. Every time I go, I try to get better and better. I'm probably so... Okay. What I have left was this, this part of the body that had, had ripped the last leg off of. So, some, so the last part always has like a little bit of extra like like the like the skin you know what I mean like the hard skin shell okay drinking too much so you always have to kind of be a little like just like extra like dig your fingers really in there and then feel before you before you eat it, make sure you feel it, squish it, so that you know there's no hard pieces in there. I overlook that sometimes too, but sometimes there are little pieces in there and it's like so not not a satisfying bite when you eat it and there's like a piece of, not plastic, but shell in there. So, do that. So like I'm holding the, the, not plastic, I don't know why I keep calling it plastic, the shell right now. So I'm gonna just like suck the meat off of it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Drop some this part, I can just see the meat, so I'm just gonna take it out. Oh god. Guys, we're almost done with the whole pound. <laughs> so, a pound is like, I don't know. I don't wanna say it's a lot, cause I don't think it's a lot, but I can eat three pounds in a sitting and then I'm full. Like I'm really full, like I don't wanna go anywhere for like two days. But if I wanna be like comfortable, I'll eat like a pound or a pound and a half and I ordered two pounds, so. And we have, mm, guys, 
we have hurricanes? Cheers, have I not drank in a while? Sorry, I was really like, hungry. Okay. Okay. Take this stuff off. Okay. I don't know why I always make that face. I just feel like it's gonna hit me in the face even when I know it's going the opposite direction. Can you see my face? How annoyed I got when that happens? Okay. Maybe because I left it in the bag too long. Yeah, guys, this is like, by the time I ate this, I think, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.46 p.m. And I ordered these at 7.15. I've been in the bag in a while. If you like corn, order corn in your bag. They also have potatoes. You can order potatoes. The potatoes are really good. Um, but I usually only eat like a couple, but the corn I always eat because I feel like it's a really good offset from the spice level. Like, cause it's been sitting in there a while, but then it's like spicy, but then it's still like sweet. Mm. I would show you this, but like now it's kind of gross. I'm very annoyed because my camera keeps stopping and I keep having to turn it back on and then waste the glove each time. Honestly, I'm just very annoyed because I have to stop eating. Is that really like awful? Guys, I swear, I am like the most simple person ever. Like just give me some, oh, I ripped it. Why doesn't this fit me? Give me some food and some alcohol. Actually, scratch food. Give me some crab legs and some alcohol and I'm probably the happiest person on earth. Like, that's it. And like, loyalty. <laughs> Apparently that's hard to come by. Cheers. I feel like bad because I feel like this is like not aesthetically pleasing, but I'm very hungry. I guess this is what a mukbang is, a mukbang. I don't know, dude. I'm having a time of my life. Mm. This would be good ASMR, huh? Or the corn specifically. A little bit. Right. So I have three other pieces of corn in here, but oh, look at that bad boy. Mmm. Oh my god, I'm done. Look at that. Oh my god, that is sex, dude. Look at that. Ugh. Why were these so much bigger? Okay. Woo! They said there were five drinks in here. I've had two. There is a little bit of ice in here, and I think you can tell at the top. I don't know if you can see it in that video. That like this is where the ice is. So we'll see if it lasts five drinks. It looks pretty, pretty like on par. So that looks so good, but I'm just so full. But watch tomorrow. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna heat it up in the pan. Woo! I had a great time. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna end the video here. Mm. If you had a good time, please like this video. I had a great time. Guys, I, this is not a sponsored video. I think I said that already, but Crab Hut, amazing. San Diego, in San Diego, amazing. They have one in Mira Mesa. They have one downtown. I think the downtown one is not open because of everything that's going on that I can't say because I'll get them all time. But if you want strong drinks, go there because they will hook it up. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I'll see you guys next time.